I don't know exactly where I am, but I landed on grass. Um, seems like grassy hills. Mm-hmm, grassy hills. What kind of day is it? Sunny and clear. Look down at your feet. Do you notice? They're a woman's feet. Um. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing shoes or are you barefoot? I'm barefoot. Mm -hmm. What else? Long straight hair. What color is your hair? Dark brown. Okay. And just con continue to connect with the body. What are you wearing on your body? What sort of garments are you wearing? It's like hippie clothes. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean to you? How do I explain? Um, like a flowy cardigan, very thin material. Um, a summer cardigan, I don't really know what it's called. Mm -hmm. well, actually, you know how the material of like a kimono cardigan? Yes. It's like that. Okay. But more tattered, kind of boho. Mm hmm. And a bandana tied around my head. Okay. Mm hmm. How old do you feel? I'm 22. Okay. All right, continue to expand your awareness further out. Do you sense others around you? I'm starting to. Is it normal for things to start to pop up? Like at first, it's kind of just the grassy hills. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, okay. Mm -hmm. Just breathe. Take a nice deep breath for me. Continue expanding. Feel your way through. What else do you notice? Are you sitting, standing? I was standing, but now I'm walking. You're walking. As you walk, just tell me what you notice. I see um, the Golden Gate Bridge. And how do you feel today? I feel great. I feel like a little hungover, maybe. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. What else do you notice around you? You mentioned there might be others in this area there's a bunch of people laid out on the grassy hills I guess just mm -hmm. hanging out some people are smoking weed mm -hmm. there's music playing a lot of young people mm -hmm. they all seem very hippie-ish mm -hmm. okay. um, I see like a what are those old school vans called? Mm hmm It's like a salmon color. And the group of people around the van, I could tell, are my friends. They are. Are you yeah. walking towards them? Yeah, I am. Mm-hmm. And what happens next when you approach them? There's this tall guy who I approach first. Mm-hmm. He's tall, has blonde hair. Um, and a mustache, but it looks more disheveled. He has a, a white t-shirt on, and I don't know what kind of, they also look like dress pants, but they have a flare. They're not really dress pants. Do you connect with him the most? Yeah. He, for, like I can tell there's a group of people here but like he's the one that I see clearly right now 
Mm-hmm. Um, he also has a black eye or a bruised eye. He does. Yeah. Best, best friends, almost like siblings even. Does there seem to be a lot of people? Yeah, there's quite a bit of people. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's either before or after a concert mm-hmm. and everyone's hanging out in this park area I think the concert is like a little bit away like a walk away or something or this is probably where people camped out or to wait for the concert mm-hmm. alright very good what happens next they're talking about his black eye He got into a fight at the concert the the night before. Mm -hmm. Nothing serious, it was just drunk people Mm -hmm. acting up. Okay. We're just laughing at him and calling him an idiot. Okay. Do you connect with anyone else in this group of friends? Anyone else a little more than the others? There is a... Um, there's a email that I'm trying to see her clearly. It's like coming to me slowly. I can tell I have some kind of connection to her. Alright, does anything else happen on this day? Seems like a carefree day. Yeah, it seems like a very carefree day. Mm-hmm. Very, everyone's very in the moment. Let's connect with this young man, the black eye. Do you recognize him as someone in your life today? I can feel something, but it's not too clear yet. Very like good. a familiarity. We're going to move ahead to an important day. Just be there now. I'm at a college campus. Um, I don't think I'm a student there. I think that the people that I hang out with, including that boy, mm-hmm. I think some of them are like part of a band. I think they're performing there. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think this is like a common thing they do play at college campuses. Okay. Right now they're setting up for it but they're preparing for it as if there's going to be quite a bit of people. Mm -hmm. My relationship with this guy, he... We're not together, officially, but it feels like there's also romance involved. Okay. But we're, like, not together, if that makes sense. Mm Mm-hmm. And what does he do for the band? He sings and plays guitar. He does. Is he good? He's all right. <laughs> um, they're not that great, to be honest. Hmm. What sort of music do you think they play? This, like, California rock type of music. Let's continue on. Why this day is important. What happens next? Um... They're playing their show now. I'm watching, so I'm not like a part of it. You're watching. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. in the crowd. Towards the front. Um, what happens next? He's really happy about the show. It, it was a decent turnout. Um... We pack things into that, like, salmon-colored van. Okay. I can tell we're going to go home, but... I don't know exactly where that is yet. Mm Mm-hmm. So let's scan the remaining time of this day for anything else that's important. I think we just go home... And, like, the next day is important. Okay, what happens? There are big concerts in all summer long in San Francisco. 
and we either live there or we live like around there and I think that's what we're looking forward to mm -hmm. will he be playing in the band is that why he's excited I think he's most excited because he's a fan of music mm -hmm. and he wants to get up on the stage Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're good enough <laughs> to open for anyone. Um, we're like at, we're at a concert setting. It's outdoors. There's a lot of people. The musicians, like when they're not playing on the stage, they come hang out in the grass area where everyone else is. Kind of insane. Um, All right. Do you know who's playing in this concert? I think we're all really psyched because Janis Joplin is playing. Okay. So many people are there. Like, people, if not all, people from the band, the Mamas and the Papas are there. Mm -hmm. Jimi Hendrix is there. I'm pretty sure this is the summer of love in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. So are you there to play in the concert? Or are you there as just no, watching? Yeah, we're just there to watch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like everyone is there. It's packed. Mm, yeah. I think it's all over the news too. Okay. How far are you from the stage? We're not super close. We're kind of far in the grass area. Mm -hmm. Basically everyone is standing or they have blankets on the grass. I just feel really like uh, carefree and happy. You do. Very living in the moment. That must feel good. Mm-hmm. So let's scan this day, this beautiful concert that you're in, just listening to music so carefree. Is there anything else that's important on this day? Anything at all? I think the guy that's really close to me, mm -hmm. I think he takes too much of something. What's happening? What do you see? It's later in the night. Everyone's just partying a lot still. Mm -hmm. You just party throughout the night. And I'm pretty sure he's like, he ODs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me what happens. What do you notice? Are you there when it happens? I'm much more sober. I don't think I am into the heavy drinking or the drugs. Everyone else is pretty messed up, and he's just kind of on the floor against the wall. And like when I see him, I can tell he's not asleep. So, what do you do? I shake him, but it's like this is such a common thing that happens that I know what it is. Like, I, I know he's gone. Do you hear yourself calling his name? I hear myself saying Matthew for some reason. Mm -hmm. I think that might be his name. Do you do? I'm panicking because literally everyone is not sober enough to be of any help. I'm like running out trying to find police or something. What do you think he took? There's no needles or anything. It's definitely taken through his nose. What happens next? I find an officer. I bring him to where the guy is. He says he's so tired of everyone's shit because this is like not the first overdose of the night. Eventually people come and get him. And what do you do? I just kind of cry and panic outside the rest of the night mm -hmm. as messed up as it sounds like it's sad what happened to him but I feel like 
people my age don't really care to live long. They're just trying to live for the moment and overdoses and drunk driving accidents and all that is really common. Is there anything else this evening, anything at all that happens before we move you? kind of feel like I'm over this lifestyle. You are? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and leave the scene and we're going to move ahead to another important day in this life that you are exploring. I'm in San Francisco in the city. I'm not dressed like how I was. Okay. I look more cleaned up and I'm wearing um, a button up with dress pants, slacks. I work at some type of small art place. Art? Yes. Okay. Um, a gallery? Very small though. Mm -hmm. Like not popular. Okay. But I feel like it's like my first real job. Mm. I don't really talk to those friends anymore mm -hmm. that I had. And I feel like not being able to really see them and figure out their faces is kind of a metaphor because I didn't really have a connection to them besides Matthew. Mm -hmm. And, um, that's why I hung out with them, because they played music places. So this experience changed everything? Yeah, it changed the trajectory of my life. Um, m much more serious now. I like working at the art gala, but I feel like I haven't really been passionate about anything since he died. I'm just trying to move on. So let's explore where it is that you live. The place that you call home in San Francisco or nearby. It's a tiny little apartment. It's not terrible, It's but it's what I can afford. Okay. It's small and cozy. I have a gray cat. Um, the walls are like tan. There are some bo boho things in the apartment from just some of the old stuff that I had. But I can tell that those things bother me and mm -hmm. I want to like swap them out you do. for mm -hmm. more serious, modern things, I mm -hmm. guess. It reminds you of those days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are those items? This shawl with like the, this, uh, a bunch of boho shawls with those little mirror beads on them okay. and certain lamps and just wall hangings I guess you sense that you live alone there with your cat yeah and I honestly like I like it okay continue on scanning scanning this lifetime that you've been exploring the changes in your life scanning moving ahead in a house I have a daughter. That's it. It's just the two of us. How old is she? Mm, like seven or eight. She's sweet, but to be honest, I don't feel very maternal. You don't? Or like emotionally connected to her. Mm -hmm. Who's the father? Honestly, some random guy. Okay. Um completely irrelevant mm -hmm. um, my daughter seems to be more like of an emotional person uh, I mean well yeah she's a kid but she wants to connect to me emotionally mm -hmm. but for some reason I just can't open up so how does that affect your relationship with her in the future we don't have a terrible relationship it's like, I always provided for her and made sure she was all right, but I wasn't really the type of mom she was having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with, mm -hmm. and so our relationship just feels kind of formal or a little cold, 
I can tell she probably resents me for not being open. Mm -hmm. But it was the best that I could do. Scanning this lifetime, you can move forward or backwards. What's your biggest disappointment? Not getting Matthew out of that life. Or be or like having being so present and having so much fun that I didn't tell him to, you know, kind of chill out. Yeah. Or be more serious. Mm-hmm. Um and some guilt because I got to, you know, get out of it yes. and do other things, but a weird feeling even it's even kind of a a jealousy in a way I feel like the I guess you could say the kids of that generation that didn't make it Mm -hmm. kind of feeling like you could just have the good days and that's it and it would be over like live fast die young because the rest of it was honestly kind of a letdown boring to move away from that life, from that scene. Now 